I just noticed you marked the fun cave. Yeah. Cool. It looks like a fun cave. Welcome to you should totally go visit. Uh, happy solstice to everybody as well. First day one. Hello. Oh. Hello. Oh. hello, hello. Happy Yule. Things hello. I did not know. Things that I always forget about. Speaking of things I'm gonna restart my about. FJ since I still can't see Serena. I'm gonna grab my coffee bar oh, now. Serena is gone. Uh, I hope you don't have to like re log in again. No, oh, I, I definitely do, but. Rip. I think it loads quicker for you guys than it does for me. Yeah. But my internet's crappy right now. Mmm. Bad weather? No, it's like a limited unlimited plan. Uh, ah. Basically where it has limited data, but there's no overage charges. It's just reduced speed. Yeah. And okay. I've gone over that limit. Mm -hmm. So my internet is more crappy than usual uh, until the uh, limits reset. Well, which is not for any your voice quality is good so there's that which is nice well i mean it's hard for my discard core to be <laughs> worse than it usually is i almost constantly have 600 ms hey as long as we can have a conversation we can work out the rest but since you're in voice anyways and technically we're just traveling through a forest we're on our first day of travel through a much more dense wood than we had previously. However, we are traveling by a main road with a wagon. Mm -hmm. Ooh, fair point, though. I don't know if we're all going to be able to fit on this wagon. I can walk. Give or take, what, four seats up or inside, two seats on top? Four and inside, then the roof. two on top, the roof. Two for the driver. The back. See, Bob and Nathaniel, because that was awkward and awesome. Um, so, Misfit, you probably could eleven put seats. people on the roof, depending who they are. You might not want to put very heavy people on there. Someone could kind of... Uh... It was Serena and Misfit last time. You can have someone chill in the back, four seats inside. But you also have, like, Dirge, who is a very large, large gentleman. Unless you want him to turn into, like, a squirrel. Which we could do. What would Uncle do? I mean, he could always, like, fly, too. I mean, he would turn into a turtle and be Uncle Turtle. It's true if he needs to get stolen again. Oh. There's nothing faster than a a turtle, don't you know? And a speed yeah, have you turtle? heard the story? You know what? I am going to turn into a turtle. Turtle drifts. Alright, so Dirge will be a turtle. We have Miss and Serene on the roof. Bob and Nathaniel mm -hmm. in the front. So who are four on the inside? Uh, that would be Lou. So Lou, Serena, Marius. Wait. Serena's on the top and on the inside? Nope. So not Serena. I'm in two places. There's two of them. Penelope. My power has doubled. I'm missing someone. I mean, two times zero is still me. zero attack. I got you. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, so far, it's Lou, Penelope, Marius. Oh, Dustin, where are you sitting? <laughs> uh, I'd probably be on the back. So there would be one open seat on the inside, unless I'm forgetting someone. Uh, where is Dirge? No, he's a turtle, so he's oh, wherever he turtle. wants to be, I guess. So he would yeah. probably be with Misfit, if I had to guess. Yeah. Uh, Misfit, what do yeah. you say? Um, yes, actually. I agree okay. to this. Then, yeah, there's one open seat inside. 
think it just kind of stretch the legs out a little bit more. You know, it's kind of like when you get on a flight or something, there's an open seat so you can kind of store your extra stuff there. It's a little bit more convenient. Kind of like that. All right. So, as we make our way uh, into day one of our really good travel here, Are we leaving it to Bob and Nathaniel to kind of guide this, or is anyone uh, going to keep an eye out, or what are you guys kind of doing? We'll kind of break it up into uh, just shorter parts of as we travel. I guess I'll relax in the cart. Do not trust Dustin to navigate you anywhere. Um, I'm going to keep an eye out up top for spookies okay. or weird-looking bugs. I'll be reading. Um, so oh, question, sorry, was... how long, so, I mean, it's, the first day is not a super long day of travel anyways, because we had other stuff, but how long do you kind of want to travel? Do you want to take a break, like, midday and eat and, like, let your horses rest? What's kind of your plan for that? Because you yeah, don't have a professional driver, other than Bob. Huh. So we'll plan to go to midday. So those of you who are like keeping an eye out, go ahead and roll a perception check. Uh, if anyone's trying to do anything specific, let me know. Other than that, those of you just passing time can enjoy your books and your whatever it may be. Uh, Penelope also reads a book. Uh, you probably shouldn't try reading on the back of a wagon, so I'm not going to try to read that new book that she gave me. Um... Yeah, I'd probably just be mostly staring behind, so I guess I'll roll perception. Serena's practicing her balance and her music. That was a cool little swirl that dice did. Thank you. Misfit. Mm. You also are a little bit unnerved at the moment, because as you look down at that necklace, it's just been very bright bright green and you guys have been keeping tabs on the color it's very bright you know, it's that's the first time it's been green right it's just been like white light before no it's always glowed green okay but it gets brighter the closer to things happening <laughs> How many yes, days has it right. been since the first encounter? About eight. Eight. It's today. Yeah, that's today. <clears throat> I'm just keeping a real solid eye out. <laughs> I'm trying to. Well, you rolled fairly well. Um. Up ahead, Misfit, you notice... Uh, it looks like there is a tree that has been down that is kind of blocking the path, maybe about 300 feet uh, coming up in front of you guys on the road, going east. Oh, uh, I'll call out. Uh, there's a tree in the path. Shifts are late, getting ready for the sudden stop. Kind of like looks over, sees it, and kind of doesn't come to a stop, but slows the cart as you guys approach the log. How close do you want to get? Uh, how big is the tree? Does it look like we could probably move it out of the way, or do we have to go around? Who am I to tell you what you can? And I don't. Know, do? I don't know. I mean, that's one way to find out if you want to see if you can move that tree, Misfit. I'll try to move that tree. Heck yeah. Yeah, let's go try to push the tree out of the way. Alright, so you have Bob stop the cart. Yeah. Perfect. Alright. Serena, so continue playing from the top. All right, so the two of you walk over to the uh, log, 
tree blocking Pat. Who's going first? I am. Alright, so you're going to try to lift this up. Um, as you look at it, it's probably like a good, maybe like 10 feet across. Pretty thick tree. It's not like super, super thick, but it's a, it's a pretty hefty tree. What the size it is. Can I just try and give him aid? If he takes it. Oh, I'll try it by myself first. Okay. Roll an athletics check. Dustin goes over to lift, Misfit, you know, goes to help him, he just swats him aside. <laughs> he doesn't even break a sweat it gets as better. he just benches that tree no. up and onto his shoulder. It gets better. So Dustin, as you've kind of been resting, it's nice to stretch for a little bit. You kind of walk over to this log and you just go to lift it up and it almost feels like it's nothing. And you just kind of pick it up and throw it to the side. All right. Uh, Who has, uh, is there... Who's got the highest passive perception? Hold on, let's check this real quick. Not I me. This fit. Probably this 16? Fit. Serena's I... got 14, so... I have hers is probably the second? Mister, you have a 16, right? Uh-huh. Misfit. As you watch Dustin lift this tree and toss it out of the way, you hear off in the distance, you're not quite sure what direction, but you hear someone, gosh darn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course, it would be one of these. Um, All right. I'm, I'm gonna... I just like I look amazed, and then I I process the whatever that person said, and I just yeah. kind of like look around for a second. Lou's dumbfounded. Um, <laughs> roll an active perception check, Misfit. Jesse, did you hear that? AFK sick. Mm -hmm. yeah, I heard a tree fall down a hill. Did you? I don't know. It was like a voice. I think we're all group one on this. You don't see anything, Misfit. But you clearly heard someone say that. <laughs> oh, well, no tree in the way. We should get moving. Hey. Yeah. Um, I take a suspicious glance around, but I check back to the cart, Pat and Dustin on the back. As you guys load up and exit, east continuing on the road, you all hear a faint voice in the distance. It sounds like a woman yelling at someone. You can't even do this right! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there it is again. It's a voice. You guys are crazy. Do we all hear that? Yeah, you all kind of hear it off in the distance. Um, it sounds pretty scary, too. Not going to lie. <laughs> Serena does not <laughs> see whoever it is. She is too focused on playing her violin. All right. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, you say I'm just <clears throat> and maintaining you know balance on all on top of moving cart. I don't want to know. <laughs> it's totally better this way. Don't I'm worry. I'm pretty sure someone's getting lectured right now. I've just got a feeling. <laughs> I'll tell you Man. guys, but it no longer may be of bearing what that was. Of <laughs> the married and men. Way to just ruin an entire highway heist. No, no, no. These are the One best. Roll. These are the best moments ever. Because. <laughs> yeah. So yes, it was the married men. Um, <laughs> however, if you recall from your last encounter with the married yeah. men, yes, they kind of got sent home with, let's say, a sweet visit. Huh? Well, that was yeah, the, the leader. 
the leader got the makeup uh-huh. on the collar, but they had all been gone for a very long period of time because they had been under her charm. Um, yeah. It was a day. It was just like a day. That's a long time. They're not going to be very many They didn't for come much home longer. last night. They didn't come home last night. And they so, smelled a really good one. Just out of character, they are no longer trusted to go out on their own. So one of the wives <laughs> supervises them at all times to make sure they're doing things that they should be doing. They're not fucking things up. I want to go say hi so bad. Nope, can't do it now. Can't do it now. You do must it. go east. No. <laughs> no. Dude, we have no reason to stay. We're on a trip. Yep, you got a mission. Got a mission. You also that mission is ruining goods, the lives. Right? I gotta cross that one out too. They did have baked goods that you could have gotten. Sorry, people. Oh. No goods for you. Sad. What good is food anyway? So, Dude, do we really want to rob them in front of one of the wives? Uh, <laughs> wives? Mm. You don't know who might be more scary. So, as we continue east um, into the later afternoon, evening hours, it begins to get dark, or not like completely pitch black, and it begins to rain. It's a oh. light rain, but it's still rain. Oh, yes, water. So just put her hood up and put her violin away. Hey, sir, you want to hop in the cart? There's a spot. Yes. Lou will hop out into the rain. Misfit. Hi. Dirge is just sitting on top of the cart next to you within turtle form, just looking up at you with a turtle smile, enjoying the rain. Um, I smile at him and I tilt my head back so it's catching my face. Mm-hmm. He does the Ooh. same and kind of he stretches out his neck like turtles do. That's super awkward looking. He just like full stretches out and kind of opens his mouth to catch rain. Now, quick question: Is mm-hmm. Misfit's mouth open or closed? Open, obviously. Mm-hmm. I will cl- yeah, like important. slowly close it. Oh, why? Important question: Why is Dirk a long neck turtle? It's free drink. Or a oh. short neck turtle. So he's. We don't have to worry about Misfit being a chicken. in the middle. <laughs> and Serena will climb down into the cart to mm-hmm. take a seat. Uh, Bob pulls up. He has a right back. <clears throat> He has like a thick driver's coat that he kind of pulls up. It has like many layers and is kind of water resistant. Um, I mean, just to keep warm and dry. This one can be in rain. If we don't have to worry about misfit drowning, he can keep his mouth open. (laughs) Hmm. I can't make any guarantees. Can't make any guarantees. Okay. I will. I will take take action if he starts drowning. Misfit. As you begin catching raindrops, just having a good time with your uncle, you hear in the woods close to you. Loud knocking on a tree. Um, I immediately go tense. My head snaps towards it. Do you cough? Because you forgot to swallow. (laughs) You forget to breathe, because it's got the water in your mouth for me. (laughs) No, my mouth is just open and it all drains out. Uh It kind of drools out (laughs) the side. (laughs) George hasn't quite noticed yet. He's still enjoying the water. Um, I just... The other side into the the woods. Loud knocking. Uh, guys? Uh, Yeah? I think something's coming. Lou will sit up from the roof of the cart. Bob gets his uh, heavy crossbow out from under the seat. It's not quite the same, but it works. It doesn't really fit well. Uh, Nathaniel at this point. Um, what's going on? Is there any more room on the inside, maybe? 
No? Yes? Yeah, yes. I, uh, the gnome can sit on my lap, maybe. <laughs> Wait. I... <laughs> There's... Wouldn't you? She's in her little uh, cubby pouch. Mm. You made her a travel case. It's quite comfy. Yeah. <laughs> so he watches. He kind of like starts to make his way down the side to like climb inside. And it's like, oh, excuse me. And he kind of like opens his door and starts pushing his way in. Like, oh, just um, maybe on the floor here. Good. Uh, don't mind me in the feet. Um, I don't mind. Huh. It's so nice to travel with all of you. Perhaps a song? What it is? The bard decided it was no longer a good idea to stay outside and force his way into the cabin. And is now sitting on the floor. And he kind of starts to play some music for you. Hey, Daniel, shh. shh. Not right now. Oh, um. Apologies. And he kind of puts puts it away. I'm just listening for more knocks. Nothing. And then you notice something rather odd, too, Misfit. It's really dark. Like before? Not like before, just the absence of all light. All light. Oh. It's completely dull. Oh. Oh, you're not even that close, Techno. Keep dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Something more like there? Nope. Or like there? Maybe like where that first red line is? It oh. will take you about five days to get from here to Florence. It is not oh. a good cross. There is a road, but it is not a level and even road. <laughs> so good. But it is the quickest way. Unless you can fly. Which I don't think you can fly a cart or horses yet. Yet. Nope. Yet. Oh, he's the guy with the yet in there. Too. <laughs> I mean, you could certainly try. You never know. Uh, Nathaniel, at this point, why are we whispering? It's here. What is it? You'll see. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Serena wraps herself in her cloak. My mother said this oh. would happen. <laughs> hey, uh, Serena? Mm -hmm. Ask for free rides. Wait, is it still part of the same day as when we left off? It is like in the evening hours at this point. Yeah, we haven't All finished right. our first yet. Never mind then. Misfit. Knock, knock. Uh. And then you hear a slight raspy whisper in the back of your mind, Misfit. Chopper walk. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm terrified, but that was funny. And then everything kind of goes quiet. Um, I'm gonna wild shape. Oh, jeez. The rain drops. What do you wild shape into? Let's see what has more HP. <laughs> Hold on. Remember, you're on top <laughs> of the cart, Misfit. And it's not Bob's cart. It will break. Oh, so a fairly good point to point out. <clears throat> um, yeah, I'm gonna hop off the top. I'm gonna wild shape into a 
dire wolf. All right, you just watch as you guys hear Misfit jump off to the side of the cart in wolf form. Um, and I, I stand there for a moment with my ears just kind of swirling around, and I howl. Uh, ooh. Well, Mr. Um, Nathaniel, I hope you're ready for a battle. As Misfit turns back towards you guys, that's not the right picture. Process of howling. Yeah, that's there not the right green, person. Wait. Bright, glowing green rune in the center of Misfit's forehead from the mark as previously seen. All right. It well, has it was <clears throat> Uh, I would have hopped off and stood next to Misfit at this point. You might want to spread out. Nice. You watch as Bob he really? pops up, and he grabs out his old axe and just kind of sits there on top of the cart. Do I see this glowing rune on her, or am I not where I can see her? Uh, no, you'd be able to see yeah. it at this point. It's pretty dark, so it's easy to pick out that Do it's I glowing. Do I know what that is, or have any idea? Roll an Arcana check, because I don't think you guys have told them about it, right? Nope. No. No. So. Like they rescued me, and I've just kind of been around for a little. Um, nothing comes to mind just from seeing the rune. It looks like some sort of magical rune, but no great bearing from what you could see. Okay. So Misfit is currently transformed. What are you guys doing? I'm just standing next to Serena's. Kind of get out. Serena's waiting for the uh, Jabberwocky to make its presence visible. You wait. What if we just like talked to it, guys? One minute, two minutes, five minutes, but it does not come. This level here. Uh, Lux got you on alert? I heard it in my head. Do you hear it nearby? Not anymore. Do you smell it? I take a big whiff. You don't detect any familiar or strange sense other than you guys and maybe like some random squirrels and rabbits and whatnot. It just smells like the rain. It's wet. <clears throat> Well, where did you sense it from? Well, I didn't sense it. I just, it was knocking, like, all over. Might have been in your head. Misfit. I don't, I don't think it was. You'd suffer no damage or negative effects. However... You get a about 30 second long spine tingling chill that goes from the bottom to the top of your spine and you just feel completely unsafe for the duration of 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. It's almost like that primal fear you have when you don't know why you're afraid, but you're afraid. It's a bear trap. But nothing happens. So it was knocking. Was it like knocking things over or was it knocking on something? Uh, he's wolf form right now. She's speaking telepathically to him. Right. Um. Tell him it was like 
knocking on stuff. I think. I suspect it was knocking on stuff. But wasn't breaking anything? Mm. I still um, don't believe that it would make its way all the way down here. The bard pops his head out of the cart at this point. Um, are we safe? No, oh. but we should probably keep moving. Uh, Misfit, be on alert. Excellent. And Bob, be careful of clearings. All right, Misfit, so you do run alongside the cart for the duration of your form until it wears off? Yeah, I'll walk in front. Okay. Do you want uh, me how long to... Last at, this point, at your level? Uh, hour and a half. Yeah. Don't you round do you want me to... I think you round up to two, don't you? Do I? Double check if you round up. Typically, it's like half your level or whatever rounded up. In case you're an odd level. Hold, please. Hold. We don't have any druids. What's a druid? Dude, Is that the no one who, like, holds two swords and shoots arrows all the time? I, I don't even know what to guess for that. <clears throat> um, oh, oh right a now. dread knight. Oh, wow. Why'd you say it's so weird? <laughs> uh, number of hours equal to half your druid no, level no, rounded I, down. I think... So it's just one hour. Just one hour. Okay. I was like, some round down, most round up, but you're probably going to have the unfortunate of being. So, pretty sure it's the tree women that are known for seducing people that wander into the forest. Dryad? Oh. Yeah, that oh, oh. No, that's a spriggan. <laughs> no, no. So quick question. Are you getting seduced by a spriggan? As you get back into the cart. When did I you... say I would get back into the cart? Not you. Everyone else. Oh. I'm assuming they don't want to run alongside the cart. Um... I have a question for Misfit before you ask this. Do you want someone riding you for safety? Um, I feel like that is only less safe for you. Do you have uh, what's your point? He probably does. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's true. I am heavy, but you're also strong, aren't you? What is the strength of the dire wolf? 18? Sounds about um, right. Strength? Oh no, that's wolf. Hold on. It's like 12. That's a little low. Maybe I can look this up too. 17. Roll an athletics check if you want to try to carry him. Okay. Yeah, you can carry. I like that idea. Yeah, if you want to. Sure, let's do it. All right. So as you guys continue forward, what do you guys discuss or do as you're uh, continuing to travel with unknown safety? <clears throat> Serena will just be kind of leaning up against the window, looking out. Uh kind of keeping an ear open um, while peering out into the rain. We'll be sitting on top of the cart in the rain. Nathaniel is sitting inside the cart. <laughs> so is, is anyone Turtle Dirge gonna... with you, Lou? Hmm? He's on top of the cart. Is Turtle Dirge still up there? He just slowly yeah, nods at Lou. Um, so who's going to tell me what's going on, and are we all going to die? I'm too young to die. I'm too talented to die, too. Uh, 
Well, there's a large winged fire-breathing creature near these woods. Are we all going to die? Probably not. Now, I noticed when you said, are we all going to die? You said probably not. Which we are you inferring to? To you, the this or the more plural we, including thee? Oh, I'm sure I'll be fine. Well, what about me? I have the people around here to protect me. She's not going to give you a direct answer. You know, we could have been something special. I guess we'll never know. He kind of like turns his gaze to the other side of the cart. For about five seconds, then he forgets. <laughs> wow, this man. Like, fear not, my lady. I will keep you safe. Um, A song to pass the time, or... Wolf thing, can I play music? Um, I howl back at him. Melodically. Okay, so he'll start to kind of play a song. Um, he'll just play some random music. He's like, so, um, any special requests? Story songs? There are plenty I'm not aware of from these hands, so surprise me. And then he kind of like stops the song for a second. So about what's trying to kill us? <laughs> Fire breathing, you say? Mm-hmm. I know about you. I don't really... Some... I'm kind of allergic to fire. Most are. I'd recommend avoiding it. So, um... Is there any way we could not be lit on fire? Like, is there an opt-in, opt-out? Would... Opt if you stand far enough away? Ah. Noted. Don't be right in front of it. Or right beside whoever it's trying to breathe fire on. Uh, as That's you a good that, way to avoid being set on fire. Um, nope, he makes nothing of it because he rolled a four. It's like... I have a very bad feeling this is the horrible start of a very questionable but interesting relationship. I could be wrong, though. It could just be completely horrible, too. She just kind of uh, chuckles. So. Hey, Serena. Tell him not to worry and that um, the rest of us will probably die first before he dies. Do you tell them that? Inquiring uh, minds want to know. It looks like the wolf is trying to tell you something. Oh. I what is think it? it's what a is protective it, fence. It's a very fine wolf you have. Where'd you get it from? He's a good Oh, that's a long story for another day. Ah, why is it blue? A long story for that same day. Um, ah. I look up at Dustin, holding my head very high, and I lick my nose, and then I shake. <laughs> nice. I'll scratch your ear. Hell yeah. All right. As you guys continue into the later evening and night, are you going to stop and make camp? How late do you travel? Uh, it's it's raining, so it's a light rain, but it's been raining <laughs> all day, so everything's kind of wet and muddy. You might be able to find some dry areas that's just thicker forest, so there is a couple of spots with more coverage. Um, totally up to you. Yeah, we'll stop in my camp. Bob, it's getting late. 
See if we can't find some place to set up a camp. All right. You probably have like two tents, uh, just in what is on this wagon plus the wagon itself. Um, if you choose to use them, that is obviously. So we have a little trance within the tent. Yeah. Or so, not within the tent, within the car. Bob finds a nice kind of leveled off space. Um, are you trying to go off road or staying near the road? Trying to see if there's other people on the road. Like, what are you looking for for uh, a spot to rest? Mm-hmm. Off road, you can okay. do, but off road can get complicated too, depending on yeah, how. Yeah, we'll, we'll right. stay by the road. Yeah. Okay. Roll us. Um, whoever wants to look for a good hiding spot with Bob as he kind of drives us along with him, just roll a survival check. See if you can find a good. Uh, Isn't that your specialty, Misfit? Yeah. Yeah. I have a modifier to that too. Okay. But Lou's enjoying the rain. You managed to find kind of like a nice spot. It kind of almost like uh, switches back off the main road a little bit. Um, it's kind of hard to even see with the, the vegetation that grows up into that point. So you can kind of go down and out of the view of the main road. And it levels off to a fairly flat, um, maybe like 50 by 50 surface kind of up on... Uh, like a little bit of a cliff, maybe there's another layer, maybe like 200 feet down below you. So it's not a super high cliff, but just a nice little rest on this little part of the hill. But you It'll can do. easily make camp. It's got coverage. You had enough room to fit the wagon in, and you could probably, mm-hmm. I mean, you could have a fire if you want. It's not 100% dry. All right, yeah, we'll set up camp here then. Okay. We'll make a fire. We don't want sure. old Marius here to get sick. He might just, I don't know, disintegrate. <laughs> yeah, Lou's been out in the rain all day. He's soaked. Bob, Bob gets the tub of peanut butter he's been carrying with him. He kind of like <gasps> gets two big spoonfuls and hands one each to Marius and uh, <laughs> Dustin. <laughs> what is just kind of not lost? What is it he's handing me? What did he give me? <laughs> he's I look giving so you a peanut butter. He's, he's, this knows what it is. Bob can't speak. It's giant spoonfuls of peanut butter. He's trying to fatten both of you up. Um, I look incredibly I don't know. Uh, I'll just like hold my hand out to you. <laughs> <laughs> you eat while it. Bob's not looking? Okay. Do I know what this so is? So Misfit eats awesome. the peanut butter. No, I don't, I don't eat I it. Don't... I just take it. Um, it's food. You would gather that it's some sort of. It smells like a nut of some sort, but it's smooth. Oh no! Wait, Miss Pit, no! Don't do it! Oh, no! <laughs> no. <laughs> forgot. Oh, I forgot. Oh no, me too. Okay, I'm gonna go grab a drink while I think about this for a second. <laughs> Miss Pit, wait, wait, wait. This was a big glob of peanut butter on this wait, spoon. No, no, I. I, wait, I need to roll to see if I realize what this is. Okay, okay, okay. You roll first. What, should, what do I roll? Intelligence. Uh, roll roll, roll in, intelligence, yeah. Mm, would you give this a disadvantage, though, because it's food? Yes. <gasps> no, don't drop <laughs> your <it's>, No! <laughs> I forgot. Oh, oh, no, I remembered way too late. <laughs> so, Misfit, you just lob and get the entire spoonful of peanut butter. And it's a large spoon, too. Uh, Mars, you make out at this point, um, you haven't had it before, but it's some sort of like spread made from peanuts, if you had to guess. I, I it, gingerly take a taste to see what it is. It tastes pretty good. However, it's at this point, um, you also, you all notice your wolf beginning to kind of wheeze. Um, is everything okay? Uh, I gave her something. I gave him something. Bob kind of looks over and he looks at me like, oh! and he kind of points to the jar and points to Misfit. Oh, do we all know? Yeah, you guys know that he's allergic yes. to peanut. Oh, shit. Serena? Mm-hmm. Misfit ate peanut butter. Yeah, he's ate a lot of peanut butter. <laughs> 
All right, I'm going to get a drink while I think about this. You guys think about that. Here, back. Has it been an hour? Am I a person again? Hey. Oh, when you turn back into a person, you could go into your pocket. Yeah. And pull out your allergy meds. Do I remember I have this? Someone would. Because you ate that nut in front of Serena and Tisalu. Would we have EpiPens? <laughs> We do technically have an EpiPen. It's just it's in his pocket and he's a wolf. Why did we let him carry it? Because he's it's his with the nut allergy. It's his allergy. He should have it. Yes, but <laughs> fair, yes. But also Can you choose to is... shift back at any point? Yes. Then you but... can choose to shift back and pull it out of your shirt. <laughs> Oh, gosh. I like how Listen, we... I, oh. I knew exactly what I was doing. <laughs> you remembered you had a nut allergy? Because um, no, I didn't I... until I... Re... I I did. Misfit didn't. Okay. Because I remembered after I offered it to you. Of peanut butter. like. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Like... Dustin doesn't know what food is. He wouldn't know what peanut butter is. He's not going to eat it. No, that that's very you didn't know. No, he knew. He was there. Oh, wait, was Dustin there for that? Pretty sure Dustin was there when, you know, he damn near choked to death. I mean, yeah, he, he's, he's here for it right now. He's choking to death. Yeah. Yeah, the 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 thing is, I didn't know what peanut butter was, so I didn't know it was made out of nuts, I guess, is how we're going to explain that. I love how this, like, offhand character note has come up multiple times now. Is this, like, the third time? Or the second time? Second or third. Something like that. Now I was refraining from Welcome making back, any off-color comments about dogs and peanut butter. <laughs> so what is your guys' response to your druid has it been an hour He's still, uh... am i a dog still um yeah oh no this would have been lunchtime so no this is just misfit so okay. misfit is more blue than normal <clears throat> so he is still a wolf no 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 i changed back no okay this it was your Step where's out. your allergy where's your medicine this weird cough all of a sudden misfit mm -hmm. Where, where's your medicine oh it's in this pocket i pulled up my front pocket is is it actually in your pocket yes i like that optimism wait do i pull up the right thing as you go roll an investigation check misfit Pat, 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 pat. Yeah, it's there. All right. You just had peanuts. Uh, Take again? your medicine. I uh, know it's tea. I gotta make the tea. Lou, can you quickly whip up the tea? Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> All right, so it takes you a little bit, but you managed to get this bit the tea. And it kind of subsides. It takes a little bit because you ate a lot. That. <clears throat> worth it. What did you learn? <laughs> no, not worth it. <laughs> Misfit. It was super delicious, though. Not going to lie. Worth it. You No, no. Serena's leaning to one side, hand on, or hands on her hips. Misfit, you can't have peanuts. Misfit dies in the direwolf form eating chocolate. Uh. To be fair, it didn't look like peanuts. It just looked like like a sauce. Like peanut butter. <laughs> Why would they do that to peanuts? <clears throat> I'm not saying anything anymore. 
We may never know, Misfit. We may never know. Did she see Bob with a jar of peanut butter? I mean, he carries peanut butter. He didn't give it to him. I gave no, it to him. Know that. Yeah, she that's how he that. lets she's you know. The car. He was pointing at the jar of peanut butter and pointing at Misfit to let you know what happened. Bob, why would you let him into that? He kind of like pats himself in the chest like, no, I didn't give it to him. Kind of like sign. Kind of a raised by him. You know he'll eat anything. <laughs> if not you, then who? He kind of looks around and it signs back to you. It doesn't matter. This happens all the time. This literally happened last week. <laughs> you know, he's not wrong. Kind of shakes her head and wanders back into the cart. He's going to learn on his own one day. He'll figure it out. We need to stop carrying nuts around. Kind of like shrugs away from you, and he kind of like he mouths under his breath, like you better not carry nuts around. He's mocking you, but not where you can see him. Or that he like takes a small handful of peanuts and eats them because they're delicious. Um, <laughs> Lou will sneak off and get some peanut butter as well. All right. So as we make camp, who's doing? Uh, we'll do two watches. Who's doing first? Who's doing the second? I'll do first. Uh, I'll go first. I'll do second. I suppose Serena will be on the second and potentially part of first, depending on how long the watches are. They'd probably, I mean, it just kind of depends. We'll just say they're about six hours each. Yep. You guys so the final two hours of first and then second. Mm. Though she'll be doing much for watch, probably from within the cart. Fair enough. So, first watchers, go ahead, roll your perception checks. This is a good perception, I see. You see. Well, for the second, or for the final two hours, <laughs> she sees everything. Serena, mm -hmm. on the cart door next to you, knock, knock. It kind of like startles you from your meditation, or you're just kind of your relaxed state. So I'll glance out. There's nobody there. And no one else in the cart seems to have kind of noticed if anyone is sleeping in there. She just kind of rolls her eyes. Hey, Lou. Yeah? Are you, are you going to be good if I go off and do something for about an hour? Can I inquire with what? Uh... Don't worry about it. It's just something I need to do. I'll be good, but now I'm worrying about it. All right. I'm going to walk off. Huh? He's just really constipated. He hasn't pooped in like 40 years. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit more than 40. He's pooped since then. Or has he? Da, da, da. Ba, ba, ba. That would involve him ingesting fluids. And solids. It As would. Kind of it really would. Begin to settle back down, Serena. Bottom of the cart. Knock, knock. She's kind of glares toward the sound. 
than back out the window. Yeah, it's fairly loud, too. But only you hear it. Mm hmm. He's Mr. playing her again. Um, probably wherever Lou is. Huh? Two. So about every randomly, Serena, this happens every three to 15 minutes for the entirety of your shift. Oh, he's very persistent. However, during this time, Misfit. Yeah. As you go to sleep, you begin to dream. You kind of hear like a crowd, and your vision's kind of blurry as you kind of like wake up into the stream. And you come to, and you're in a fine suit, like one you would always want. And you're at that casino you were at before. But it's full, and everyone's like having a really good time. And there's like people kind of like laughing and just sitting there. Apparently, you must be here with them. But everyone's laughing and smiling. What do you do? You're on the main floor of the casino. Actually, here, I can get the map out. Oh, God, where did they put? There it is. Images. Um, You know how when you're in a group and someone makes a joke and everyone starts laughing and you just kind of, you want to laugh too? Like, I just, I get a grin on my face. I don't know what's going on, but I, it makes me feel happy. There's the casino map. Um, I'm gonna look up for my friend Misfit. So you're about there. So as you're sitting here, you're having this great time. You have like a drink in one hand and quite the considerable winnings in the other. You look up towards a cage and where a cage normally sits kind of almost spotlighted a little bit. You just see a dully lit cage. Is it empty? You can't. It's like high up on the ceiling. It hangs from the center. It hangs from like clouds almost. As a fake ceiling. Um, I'm just gonna whistle up towards it. You whistle. But no reply. I see that friendly token. Oh yeah, he's here even in dream mode. If you need anything, um, I'll be over here. <laughs> Can I How'd that wrestling it? match go? Huh? <laughs> you win? <laughs> Good, we got really wet. <laughs> It was great. <laughs> no. Can I, can I take another look at the people I'm with? Yeah. You look around, the room is now empty and dark. Oh. It's not completely dark. <laughs> it's all the torches and light sources are diminished, though. It's an empty room. Um, do I still have a drink in my hand? No. Dang it. And you're in your uh, forest tracks. Like when you were a kid. Oh. But like adult version. Or it must be, right? This room is a little bit bigger than the last time you were here. What do you do? Do I... Do I know it's a dream? Yeah. It's gotta be a dream. This is too weird to not be a dream. 
okay, well, if it's a dream, I can definitely do whatever I want then. So I can fly. I'm going to start flying. So you go to fly, you kind of jump up, and you land on your face. You take... <laughs> two points of psychic damage. Uh-oh. <laughs> Um, apparently you can't fly. <laughs> can I try casting something? I'm gonna cast dancing lights. So you go to cast dancing lights. <laughs> they appear. Ooh, okay. You kind of um, float them as you wish around this room. I'm gonna cast something else then. I'm gonna cast find familiar. What are you summoning? It takes about 10 minutes, I think, right? Do uh, for me, it's hour? instant, but it only lasts an hour. Oh, okay. Interesting. What are you summoning? I, I am going to summon a little bluebird. Okay. You go and you cast the spell. But no bird appears. And then from behind you, you hear a small voice say, Where the hell are we? And you see your little newly acquired adoptive sister behind you. Uh, that's oh. not... The... Okay, I mean... Hey, Bluebird! Misfit, is that you? What are you doing here? I was I... sleeping. Uh, apparently, I'm dreaming. I thought this was my dream. And no, this is my dream. No, oh, I'm pretty sure. I don't it's know my where dream. we. Oh, okay. I mean, I know where this is, so I'm pretty sure it's my dream. Oh, yeah, then it's probably. I have no idea where this is. Where are you going? And she kind of like tags behind. Oh, I you. thought she was behind the bar. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> no, that's someone else. Do you walk to the bar? Yes. Okay, so she just kind of tags behind you. Where are you going? Um, I'm... Is my friend here? As you walk into the bar, you see a lone individual kind of like bussing and cleaning up the counters and tables. Cassandra? About the right height. And she kind of walks Sandra? to the east and back, back to the west. It doesn't respond to you. As she walks back, though, you can see this is a very elderly dwarven woman. Just kind of like sad. Oh, I don't think that's her. But doesn't seem to notice you. Um, I'm gonna wake up now, and she like starts to pinch herself, but nothing happens. Ow, ow! She takes one point of psychic damage. That hurt. Yeah, are you sure um, we're dreaming? I think so. I mean, I kind of fell on my face earlier, and that hurt, too. Why are you dreaming about this place? I don't know. I guess there's people I want to see back here. Like who? Um, well, my friend Misfit, and my friend Cassandra, and my friend Friendly. Are you talking about yourself in a third person? No, there's, um, she was up in that cage. Here, Can't I'm gonna pick you up. Here. I'm gonna pick you up. Can you look in the cage? Yeah, I can jump up there. You go Just ahead see and if, fling her see up. See if there's anything in it. Um, 
big bro. Uh huh. There's not a bird in here. Is it empty? Hold on, let me ask this lady. What lady? Oh, she's sleeping. Is a lady up there? It's like, hold on, you watch as she kind of like shimmies up the chain and you watch her kind of disappear up into the clouds. And then all of a sudden the cage descends down and almost crashes a little bit into the stage. But it doesn't damage anything. Just a little bit of a rough landing. I look in the cage. Uh, it is a half elf. Currently naked, but hidden. Hey, psst, hey, lady. And she looks very, very pale. Hello? Are you going to tap her? Is that you? Um, I'm not sure who you are, but hi. You know my name. That's interesting. She kind of reaches out of uh, the cage to kind of like grab onto your arm. It's me, Misfit. Remember? Oh. Hey, what are you doing up in that cage? I... I don't remember. I don't feel very good, though. And you just watch as, like, all color disappears from her face. Um... Is she wounded, malnourished? What's wrong with her? Medicine check. You watch as um, a small orb of light kind of lifts out of her chest. Kind of leaving the body behind, it begins to kind of float. Can I reach up and try and touch it? Uh, you can get closer to it, sure. It kind of is yeah. floating off. Hey, is that is that your soul? <laughs> I put it up your soul. And it kind of like stays in front of you, and it looks like it's currently heading towards um, the bar. Um. Okay. Don't worry, Misfit. I think your soul is running away. I'll be right back. Come on, Bluebird. Bluebird. Bluebird is nowhere to be found. Uh, okay. As you watch, the little light goes into the bar, and then you watch the light source kind of dissipate. I hop up on the counter. Looking for it. Hey! Get down from there. I just cleaned that. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. I'm just looking for something. Did you see a light come through here? And the you get smacked in a very familiar fashion. <laughs> this old dwarf is Cassandra. Is that you, Cassandra? What are you doing here? You... No, people are supposed to stay in the hotel. You can't just crash in here. Get out of here. Oh, I'm, Come on, I'm kid. looking for this light, though. I I gotta Come find on. it. Come on, kid. Give me a break. Get out of here. Go. Shoo, shoo. No, I I really, I gotta find this. Um. Um. As you look, you don't see the light source. There's now one additional person in this bar. Sitting at the bar at the end of the table. Or one of the stools. No, I'll give it a token. It's only fair, Techno. Oh god, where are tokens now? Hold on. I 
I didn't even realize that the thing was techno. I thought it was you. No, that's techno. Techno always. I literally deleted like 80 people that techno had drawn here from the last time we were here. Because I did it that. Sorry, techno. Uh, oh, God. Where are tokens now in this new interface? Give me one moment. Uh, assets, assets. There they are. Okay. I still got it. Portraits. Custom portrait. Oh, God, where'd it go? Uh, da, da, da. You see a woman with long black hair and a very fine dress sitting at one of the stools on the bar. And she's just kind of like singing a very beautiful and enticing song. It's quite nice. You haven't heard such great music since Misfit. Um, I'm going to walk up to her. Um, excuse me. What's your name? And she kind of gets up from her stool and just kind of walks through you, apparently. Oh. However, on the stool where she walked away from, you see a dead bird. What and then kind you wake of bird? up. <gasps> Same bird as Misfit. <clears throat> <gasps> and then you wake up with kind of like the cold sweats. Back at the campsite. And time for your watch. <laughs> Great. So as the two cross over, uh, who's on second watch? Uh, Serena and Misfit. Um, so as you all kind of have that crossover, you're all awake for a minute. Is there anything you pass on? Is there anything you say before they go to sleep? Uh, a weird dream. Oh. What kind of dream? I was at the casino and I was all fancy and then there were people. I saw Bluebird and then I saw Misfit, but Misfit wasn't a bird anymore. And I saw someone else. Is it a bad dream? I don't really know. It didn't feel like a good dream. <clears throat> Serena, step out of the cart. Well, it means we may have to make a stop by Bayside once we've dropped Penelope out. Mm -hmm. As you guys are having this conversation, You feel a very cold breeze kind of blow across your campsite and your fire goes out. And oh, all of and you, was... except for Marius and Dirge and Penelope. Actually, no, Dirge and Penelope were there. No, no, they weren't outside or in that when it happened. Um, Hear knock knock. Who's there? One sec. Do you say who's there? I do. I oh, not frostbite. I meant the. Uh, I turn. I light the campfire. You watch. Uh... In front of you, Dustin, a little purple wisp appears. Oh. 
Oh, it's magic again. It's always magic. Uh, this uh, is crime. I'll reach out and touch it, sure. As you reach out and touch it, you're back in the forest. The dark forest. Nice. You are muddy um, again? Like you had never left. Uh oh. What oh do you do? man, I uh first thing that happens is I collapse to my knees and I begin dry heaving. Uh oh. I knew it was too good. I knew it was too good. I was out for too long. <laughs> okay. You, you've, been, you've been here before? You've been here before? Tree. Get to a tree. Tree. I, I start heading for a big tree. All right. You kind of find a tree and go back to a familiar mindset. For those of you who are where he is, um, you kind of just watch him. He's currently having like a seizure on the ground. Uh, that can't be good. Can I go and check if he is okay? All medicine check. Oh shit. Uh, I'm gonna also do that. Oh, Ooh. buddy. Again with the 20s. Um, he's definitely kind of like clammy and sweaty like he something seems off whether or not life threatening kind of hard to say but his pulse is like going crazy at the moment hey uh Dustin you okay seemingly can't hear you I think I can respond I can't respond He's in a totally different place, but you don't know that. It just looks like he's having a seizure. Yeah. Clung, clung, clung. Uh, oh, ooh, seizure. I'm hold, gonna... on, hold on, hold on. Who's wearing the cloak? I That's am. That's Dustin. Knows. Dustin. Okay. Interesting. What do you do, Dustin? Or you guys? Either one. Uh, I am whispering something to Tisalu. Oh. Go. Um... Is the purple orb still there? Um, the one he touched, no. As he yeah, touched it, he well, kind of dissipated, and then he fell over and went into a seat. Do with that what you want. I just won't be upset at you. <laughs> I'm going to remove the helmet. Serena ever seen or heard of any kind of, well, any just kind of magic run. like that? Will the seizure run its course? But you know, but um, prevent him from burning himself. It's kind of hard to say. I mean, magic can do a lot of things. I'm just hovering anxiously. Uh, in the dream, I would start <laughs> slathering myself in, with mud. <laughs> well, the hag's pet should be coming soon. Maybe it's hag magic? Could be some kind of nightmare. Dustin. As you're hiding in the mud, as you were previously, you hear something walking through the forest nearby. Uh, I would like to make a perception to see if there are light or heavy put footsteps. Lighter. Like a humanoid. Ooh, I'm. Ooh, ooh, I am more uncool with that. Um, As you kind of hear I'm them just... suction through the mud, they kind of make their way up on top of a nearby stone, and you hear it sounds like a staff or a stick slamming into a rock. Knock, knock. I will say it loud. Who's there? Ah, there you are, boy. I have missed you so. 
And as she says this, you kind of like instantaneously move standing up towards her about 10 mm -hmm. feet in front of her. Hello again. Why did it's... you leave me? I found what I needed. Or what I what I thought I needed. You belong here. All you need is here. But, 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 what is it? What I I don't know what what I need. I don't know who I need. I you've taken from me, but you can be forgiven. But recompense must be paid. What did I take? You took my child, my meal. And I don't... now, there's no one to replace her. So as I see it, you owe me a great debt. Or my creature will hunt you and your friends for all eternity. But believe me, it won't take that long. Um, um, it, uh, not, 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 not that. I've been, I've been safe from it for so long. Why? Why would you? Why would it leave? I mean, I, I, I know why, but like, why now? I mean, uh... you cannot run. You belong here. I... And she holds out her hand. Oh, uh, I am not if going to return... take it. All will be forgiven, and your new acquaintances may go about their business. Um... If not, you will all be consumed one at a time. Forgiveness that I so desperately seek does not come from your mouth. You are not the one who can forget me. And I owe you nothing if you cannot keep what you first take. You break my heart, Dustin. For I can take what belongs to me. But I did love you so. My precious little plant. How I will miss you in my garden. And that's and some then, lawn ornament that you can throw around. You just watch as she dissipates into smoke. And you're alone. Back at the group. Mm -hmm. He's no longer seizuring. But he is completely unconscious, his eyes white. Can I take his helmet off? I mean, he can't do anything. Can I take his soul? Sorry, wrong character. <laughs> <laughs> or is it the wrong character? Or is it? Yeah. Blue's gonna remove Dustin's helmet to make sure he's completely okay. 
Yeah, he's completely. Marius, are you are you looking over this? Marius, son of Theris. <laughs> uh, we all know who the son of Theris is. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, that's the adopted son of Theris. Hey, that's about as good as we get. We're busy people. He just, you know, took his father's hand, and now he's got a hankering for souls. Ah, you little thing. He had that before, too, to be fair. <laughs> so. But, yeah, Marius, would you have been... No, you were in the cart. You were probably still asleep for this whole thing, yeah, right? Marius, yeah, is unaffected. He is not cursed, so none okay. of this is impacting him. We're making quite cool. the ruckus, though, I believe. So, I mean, whatever he wants to do. I think he knows or doesn't know what he needs to know. All right. Even if he Let's wakes up in the of... cart. If he... You've only no, known there... him for like three days. He's probably going to just keep a good eye out. Um, if he is awake, unfortunately. Trying get him somewhere comfortable. Mm-hmm. Hopefully he's away by the time uh, morning or morning arrives. What if he's having a bad dream? Like I had? Oh, he, he probably is. But what's there to do about it? Um, at this point, you guys watch as Bob kind of wakes up also. Just kind of like catches up on the situation, looks very concerned that, um, Dustin is not looking super great. I quickly have a question for Lou. Do you only take the helmet off? Yeah, I only took the helmet off. Okay, cool. I don't need to do anything then. Hey, Dustin. That's me. I love these. Me too. Hi, baby. Oh, okay. Shut the fuck up. (laughs) 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 All right, I need another drink from my girl through this up here. (laughs) Oh, no. Are you grabbing another book? (laughs) No, it's getting a beer. And then a book. I'm going to take a bathroom break really quick. Mm-hmm. Also, what? Uh, <laughs> Dustin can't wander out into the forest by himself for an hour, relieving stress in some undefined way? Or he returns with a, you know, pain in his back? He's Ooh, just and they found a let him poop in peace. Bob looks extremely concerned. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, same. That's mm-hmm. fine. He watches Bob pulls out something from his bag. Wait, um, Dustin is AFK if you want to give him a minute. Oh, no, 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 hold on. There's important things to know. I'll eat my fortune cookie. What's the fortune? Open to yet. I still have all the Chinese food. I just haven't I've ate all the cookies though. Not gonna lie. <clears throat> also, for no particular reason, what what are your lucky numbers today? Hmm. Three, seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, forty, forty-one. The project you have in mind will soon gain momentum. If this is D and D related, you're fucked. So. <laughs> all right i'm back uh i'm back. excited for this next part i could still hear you guys but i just yeah i couldn't like respond no, those cookies are plotting against us oh of course why wouldn't they be as you <clears throat> sit in there and you watch he just looks concerned he sits nearby and he pulls out something from his pack and it looks like a note he just starts to read it Serena will wander over and peek over his shoulder. And just kind of like 
turns it to the side as you go over and he kind of looks up at you. Oh, what? You can't share? He just kind of looks at you. I'm... Dustin. I'm chill. Turn away. Yeah. Constitution save. Yay. Oh, no. That's not good. Oh, no. You guys watch as the color and miss it. This immensely terrifies you. The same way you just watched the color leave from Misfit, you've now watched leave from Dustin. Oh. I look for a little orb of light. <clears throat> light. Um, I'm beginning to cast Healing Spirit. And he's not moving. Cast Healing Spirit? Lay it on yeah. top of him? Yeah. Has no effect. <laughs> he's <laughs> completely still. Dirge! Uh huh. You know, that's not following yeah, that's your well, rules. I need your help. Huh. Well, I, I'm, I'm, I don't have any money, but what do you need? I think Dusty's dying. Well, that's not good at all. Hey, do you guys have a clerk? We have a salt <laughs> shaker. Can your salt shaker resurrect people? At this Maybe. Point, Um, Dirge just kind of looks at you. Um, I've never really been good at that kind of thing. Sorry. That's all right. I'm sure I'll be fine. Uh, body sitting lifeless. Is he breathing? No, he's completely oh. devoid of color and still. Okay, chest plate's coming. The rest of the arm was coming off. <clears throat> or right. maybe he. Uh, uh, as you take off uh, my chest plate, do you like turn me over to my side and get a look at my back? Yeah, I'm, I'm checking you over. Uh, my back is uh, covered in lashings from like a whip. Okay, that's that's another problem for later. Does anybody search my bag? No, not yet. Okay. We're actually concerned make sure with your health. No dead first. This is so unlike most parties. Okay. We gotta confirm <laughs> you're dead before we start going through your stuff. Or we take all your shit and divvy it up. Can I try and discern what's wrong with him other than he stopped? He died? Um, roll an Arcana check. Arcana. Over. Whatever the cause of this is, you assume it is magical, but you can't quite make out what's causing it. Uh, Serena, do you have any um, anti-magical effects? No. Lou will just roll his eyes at you. At this point, Dustin, You are shivering cold in the mud by yourself. Back to your old ways. Nice. Beginning to question if what you've experienced these last few days, weeks has really happened at all. 
Oh, definitely not. It was just a good dream, a way to pass the time. Hey, can I do a non-lethal magical attack? You can do whatever you want. What do you want to do? Shocking grass. Yeah, it's a corpse. You just want to kind of like, like he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> you wanted to fibrillator me? Are you trying to like use a defibrillator, or are you trying to just like? Yeah, we're doing CPR. Yeah, I'm doing a defibrillator. Medicine check disadvantage. I'm doing CPR. You? All right. Well, at the same time. Yes. No, no. Everything no, at once. Clear. I think I'll do it. Okay. I wouldn't put too much in. Double oh, 13. Oh, double 13. Uh, you can't. Like, a... Come on. Come on. No change. <laughs> um, Lou. Yeah. That's at this point, um, Bob walks over to you and puts his hand on your shoulder. Kind of like pats you. Uh, and he's going to hand you a rolled up letter. Mm -hmm. And then he's going to put his hands on Dustin. As you watch, immense amounts of purple light begin to emanate from Bob's hands. Dustin. You're back in the mud and you hear the familiar uh, humanoid footfalls through the mud towards your location. Uh, I'll hold my breath. You can't hide from me, boy. It hurts to try. You've never been good at it. I've always known where you are. I let you live. Because you're my pet, and I love you. And you will stay with me, whether you like it or not. And there's nothing you can do about it. Well... You're not all powerful. I left for a. Did I? I can... You're. You're right. I can't do it. There's nothing. I... You will come. So what do you want to gloat about this time? And she kind of like slowly. Walks up to you, and she goes to place a hand upon your head. And then she shoots back 15 feet. Oh. And she just kind of looks strange for a second. And then continues to walk forward back to you like she was previously. You all stay with me forever. As she gets close, she goes back 15 feet. <laughs> I'm going to stand up and I'm going to walk towards her. After about four times, she just kind of, what is going on here? I don't know, but one thing's clear. You're not as powerful as you've been telling me. I can. That, that there is something out there that can stop you. And somehow, somehow it found me. You know, the kid's not wrong. Uh, I'll turn to that voice. I'll turn to look. You hear a third voice you are unfamiliar with. And you see an individual in a purple and gold robe with the hood up. <laughs> in fact, I think he'll be coming with me now, if you don't mind. And become another pet? Nah, I don't have any use for pets. I tried to keep one once. Believe me, it didn't go well. I'm much more of the independent, non-commitment type guy. But if there's anything I've learned, especially in my time with my friends, 
Hold on one second. I just got to check one quick thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, oh, so many things to read. <laughs> For the longest time, I've been avoiding my responsibilities, hiding, if you will. And what my friend there has taught me is I can't hide from my own actions. And he couldn't be more right. So with that, uh, I do have to insist that he'll be coming with us today. Just yeah, go. And by the way, you're actually fine. You're still with your friends. Bell. Magic. It's like, um, come here, lad. And she's like, get back. And as she walks forward, she shoots back 15 feet again. Seemingly not able to move any closer. I I do say I, I I'm enjoying that part. I would enjoy it too. I, you get quite cranky and they aren't stupid. I would hurry. Uh, all right, all right. Oh, Tell me before what you go, I just wanted to thank you. Uh, I've thank lacked me. clarity for a long time and I've gone to great depths to make sure that I could just kind of shrug off the world, but just know I thank you. Now go, you'll find your friends that way, and he motions his hand, and you see a bunch of purple lights light up through the forest. Uh, well, I'm, At the end of that path, you'll I... find a way back to your friends. Thank you, and I'm glad I could help you as well. And then I'll take off. You're stronger than you know, bud. Chin up. That's that's what everyone tells me. It's really weird. And then... As you leave, he kind of turns back towards the uh, hag. Ah, I think it's time we had a conversation. <laughs> As you head what through the going path, on? You go about a quarter mile until you get to the end of the path. Before you stands a singular glass mirror. And you see through it your friends and your unconscious body. What do you do? Uh, I touch the mirror. As you touch it, <gasps> you wake up back in your body. Oh, jeez. Uh, I immediately start coughing a huge fit. Does he? Does he? Lou will sit you up. Um, <laughs> Dustin, will you read your letter to Lou? Uh, yeah. Do I still have? Yeah. What the rest of the party sees, by the way, as the light emanates from Bob, as this culminates, the light fades, and Bob is gone. Uh, um, um, uh, I'll whisper that to Lou then. You oh, just yeah. see Dustin waking up. However, Dustin, I feel a little bit different. Um, I'll look down at myself. You are not gaunt anymore, my friend. Oh yeah, we took your armor off. Oh, God. But you are an average weight human. No scars. Oh, except for your back scars. Yeah. Uh, You've probably picked up about 50 pounds of weight. Oh, I feel I feel weird. Oh. I just like oh. poke. I wish I knew Orkin. 
I, oh, I don't know any of that. <laughs> hmm. Oh, yeah, read, read your letter to, uh, to Bob, to Lou, because that's what he left, uh, Lou. Yeah, uh, the uh, paragraph break, um, only the parts and quotes are in Orcish. Everything else is common. Gotcha. I know. No, no, oh, you DM'd yeah. it to me. Nice, nice. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, uh, I wasn't gonna read it out loud unless, like, Perfect. unless, unless, like, you like wait, like, make it obvious that I should like. Well, he's got the letter, so he can read it out loud if he wants. No, I'm not That's reading true. that out loud. Is it sauce? Awesome? Okay, I'll close sure, the pattern. Uh, Serena kind of places his finger to her lips, ponders for a moment, and takes her hand away and goes. So, what just happened? Is there any way we could roll to see what happened, or that's way out of our wheelhouse? <laughs> um, I think it's funner if you don't. Whatever you think would be a justification roll for this, you can certainly try. You know, I thought you were having a bad dream, but maybe it was a good dream? Um... All you know, flash of purple light as it culminated, Bob was gone, and much larger Dustin was here. So... Who are you? Uh, I, can I, I argue the acrobatics for the mental um, gymnastics I need to do to figure this out? <laughs> <laughs> Close the <laughs> cigar, buddy. Who was that? Uh, uh, no, no I'm, I'm pretty sure it was a, a, a bad dream. I... I almost thought you guys weren't real. Are you okay? anymore? What does that word even mean anymore, Misfit? You're... Okay, your heart's and I, I think it's going again. But uh, I'm gonna grab your hand, put it to my chest. Is it going? I don't know. Is it? It's beating at a normal pace. Yeah, it's, it's going. It's definitely going. <sighs> Then I guess I'm alive. Um, Don't do that maybe again. Can you address what happened to our dwarf? Yeah. As well? Did you two, like, uh, merge or something? Did you eat Bob? He, but I would never. Maybe that's why he oh. was always feeding you, because he, he knew. <laughs> <laughs> You'd eat him. Uh, <laughs> Miss Finn uh, thinks you eat him. No, no. How do you know? This is this isn't the fairy tale about the kids in the gingerbread house. I hate gingerbread that one. House. Have you really never I'm heard that? Up oh my fingers, uh, Who raised you? Parts. I lived oh. by bears, actually. Wow, Serena so you know no stories? Uh, it's okay, sorry. I know Serena. <laughs> Serena's being ignored. So, <laughs> what is this, Serena? Did you two, like, merge or something as she puts her fingers together? I... No, but a, a man got me back here. It was just in purple. Angle. Oh, that's a good With that yeah, hot tongue? Holding her hand I don't toward her pouch. So, is the letter, uh, the letters not in Bob's handwriting, I'm assuming? No. Okay. Bob just gave it to you before he did whatever he did. Have we ever seen Bob do magic before, besides the red You've seen stuff? Bob glow red. But you've never seen Bob do anything. Someone could try to take the letter from Lou as well, by the way. Is his mm -hmm. is his axe still here? His axe does remain. Uh, no, I'll reach out for it, axe. yeah. As well as the other axe. Uh, that axe so, is... Oh, I'm not touching that one. <laughs> nope. Lou, well, the other one's on the cart. His axe is on the ground. That he had on him. What kind of spell did he cast? Uh, he didn't say anything, did he? No. No. He just put his hand on your shoulder, patted it, gave you the letter, and then laid two hands upon uh, Dustin.
I do not know. She kind of goes over toward them, then points to the letter. He gave you it. Uh -huh. Yes, he did. And you don't know what it does? Not a spell. Oh. Really? Oh, Bob's, not Bob's handwriting. Okay. I assumed it was like a scroll or something. Nope. No. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, why does my stomach hurt so bad? Oh, I don't. I, I think what it's because you have, you have a stomach again. You are hungry. You didn't have one what? before. What? <laughs> And for some reason, you're I, craving uh, peanut butter. No. <laughs> uh, does anyone want to help me get like back to the cart and find like something to eat? Yeah, I'll, I'll help you out. Okay, cool. So Misfit and I are going to walk off. Serena will head over beside Tisalu, kind of lean up against him. So what's on the letter? I will hand the letter to Serena. All right, let me whisper that to you. Lou will just Paragraph break is in common. Top part? Okay, so the top part yeah. is not common? Between yeah. interesting yes. decisions and D100 rolls, this turned out very interesting. Uh-huh. Oh, I have to send someone else a message. Too. I'm not going through this alone. <laughs> so confirmation the top part is in orcish and the bottom part is common the things in the things in quotation marks are orcish Uh, I will also let you, if you want, make a... What the... I guess that would be... Because... Make a history check, I guess, if you want to figure out whose handwriting it is. Or an investigation. Because you ha... Yeah, or investigation. Yeah. I don't think I've seen Dustin's mm -hmm. handwriting. Yeah, but Serena has seen it before, so she could put two and two together. Nope. That was a 13. Yeah. And I was cocked between a 4 and a 16 for me. No, it hasn't yeah. loaded yet. Ah, uh, rip. You took the 4. Well, I think you're the only other person who has seen Dustin's handwriting before. Well, you're so uh, right. This isn't a spell. I am just enamored by food at this point. I I am like unlocking a part of my memory that I never knew was there, of like what I liked and didn't like. It's a really weird experience. But it also doesn't give us any insight as to what happened to him. Yeah, I hmm. don't know what Bob did. I've never seen him do that. Neither have I. He should be fine, right? 
okay, Dustin, this is going to blow your mind. I'm going to take a little piece of bread. I'm putting honey on it. And then I'm going to put a grape on it. Eat this. <laughs> uh, how blown away am I? Uh, it's... I am not used to tasting three things at the same time. It's fucking delicious. Or anything that isn't mud. I am, I am ratatouille brain right now. <laughs> Like the flavor explosions in your head. No. Yep. I suppose that depends on what happened to him. If he's merged with Dustin, then I don't know. The two are one. So technically, Let's see if he starts hearing voices. If Bob sacrificed himself for Dustin. Then no, he's not gonna be fine. Yeah. Didn't need to say that one. Oh Who wow. Again? Huh? Hmm? Um I think I was too busy being hungry to pick it up. I think it's still on the floor. Lou would have picked it up and returned it to the cart. At some point. Well, you were busy having conversations. At some point, if Dustin doesn't come back for it. Interestingly enough, you hear an awkward noise coming from the cart. Okay, awkward how? You hear like breaking glass and crashing sounds, like something is running loose in your. Okay, God damn it, Dirge, and I'll open the cart. As you open up, a small flying entity flies out. Oh. Uh, you see before you. Not on the book, but you see a blue and purple one of these. Oh. That's a great color. What a good color. Blue and purple? Hmm? Uh, Excellent choice. Can I try and... Is it like... Uh, how is it flying about? Anything like that? It's kind of like just jumping about playfully about the cabin. Uh, okay. Can I try and... Like, I want to say catch it, but you know, like how you would catch a... Small animal, like gently. Sure. Dexterity check. Oh boy. Have either of us ever seen something like that? Um, <laughs> it, 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 so, can, wait, wait. wait. About to get done. As you reach for it, you spook it, it claws at you. You take how much damage Hold is up. right next to? Hold I, on. I have. Optional. Oh, that's going see. for a reroll. Uh, and that's sorcery spells. Uh, where's the thing? Oh, max damage. Magical gun. Oh. You take eleven what? points of slashing damage. Oh, it's an ability it's check. Claws at you. Ow. It hits really hard yeah, for a little. It's an ability check. No, that was. Yeah, I could reroll ability checks. You can try if you'd like. Yeah. You can roll another one, though. Yes, yes, I could. That is better. Um, You are unable to catch it. Actually, say see. I'd say you're able to kind of catch it. It almost well, no. out of your way. And then it just kind of turns and looks at you. Kind of tilts its head. Hmm. Can I go through my bag for some food? You tell me. I mean, me and Dustin yeah. have like the full spread out right now. Yeah. I'll okay. pull out like if you some... have it within range, it will <laughs> kind of jump over towards the table where the food is and it will just kind of start eating some of the food. I think they're outside and this is in the cart. Oh, it can fly. Ah. So it just kind of flies out and goes over to where the food is. Okay. Hmm. Does anyone know what this is? <gasps> it's a dragon, isn't it? It's beautiful. A what? A dragon. Dragons. 
Dragons aren't real. What? I really, I've never heard... How many stories have you people not heard of before? Wait. Yes, I've heard stories of dragons, but they're fairy tale. Well, doesn't that sound... Doesn't that look like what they sound like? Kind of looks dragon-like to me. Hello, fella. <laughs> wow, he really likes snacks. Nah. Welcome back. Welcome back. I'm just, kind of I'm just it. picturing what Marius is going through. Like he looks out the window. Okay, this guy's dead. Um, five minutes later. Okay, he's eating. Five minutes later. Okay, there's a little dragon now. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> I can't say I've seen anything quite like that. Marius is probably. <laughs> Yeah, he never uh, walked out during this whole process, technically. Oh, Has Serena ever seen like a fairy dragon or something like that? Or Um, you would I would say probably not from where you're from. But it looks like kinda like a small dragon of some sort. Can Lou hand it some food? Oh yeah, it's you can hand it food. It's been eating your food anyways. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He just kind of looks at you all happily. Seemingly unable to communicate with you, though. Um, hmm. I look at it, and then I look at Serena. Misfit. Puppy dog eyes. <laughs> yes, oh, you can take care of it. <laughs> It kind of looks at Serena, and then it looks at Misfit. It just smiles. It keeps making, like, little noises at you, but you don't know what it says. I mean, technically, we're not taking it if it's just hanging out with us, right? I'll, I'll reach out my hand to like give it a chin scratch. Uh, I'm going to make one of those. Uh, I'm going to like stop eating, put everything down, look at Misfit, and go. Oh, crap. The, the Jabberwock hasn't come yet, has it? Oh, um, no. Uh, uh, how, is your amulet still dull? Uh, I'll take a look at it. Still dull. Oh, no. Well... That means you two should probably get some sleep. You're right. We you should. Uh, I'll go back out and put my armor back on and then head to bed. Okay. Okay. I'll be get the you armor may... back on. You may Thanks. have troubles with that one. Um, Dustin. Mm -hmm. As you lay down to go to bed, you feel a small pseudo dragon cuddle up against you. <laughs> uh, I'll go like, oh. Oh. oh, okay, and then I'll like put my hand on its head, and then I go to bed. I still have the cloak, right? Yep. Right? That, that, okay, cool. Uh, I guess it's watch two, unless anybody wanted to follow up with anything. That's good uh, bed, Dustin. Watch it. 
the little dragon gets awkwardly close to you, almost like sleeping on your head. And you swear right before you fall asleep, you hear a little voice say goodnight. Oh. Is it male or female? Female. Uh, how much attention do I pay to that? Uh, I'm good. I'm gonna be uncomfortable. I'm not gonna sleep. I'm gonna be like jittery sleeping tonight. It sleeps quite well though. <laughs> Definitely not the first time you've had a woman's head in your voice. Or woman's voice in your head. <laughs> woman's head in your face. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And apparently it's just one of those days. All right, so you guys complete your long rest. Day two. Great. Still no sign of Bob? What do you guys do as you wake up for breakfast? Um, I'm gonna go wandering around the campsite we found, calling out for Bob. Alright. You spend a bit Probably of time looking for Bob. That you do. No Bob, though. Mm. Anybody see his axe around? I would have returned it to the cart. Misfit, do you uh, smell? I'll find that. It's not like you can call back. As you go to the cart, there's no axe in there. No. Well, Lou, you put the axe in there, didn't you? Uh, yeah. Well, either someone stole it, or you didn't put it back. I could have sworn if... I put it back. So, what if Bob took so, it? How so, can Bob gonna take it? He's not phone. here. I just look up at the sky and I put a hand over my chest and the tear comes in my eye. And you hear a little uh, sound beneath you. And there's a little tiny pseudo dragon on the ground. Uh, Serene is going to double check that our pearl is still there. Your pearl's still there. I'm going to squat down to the to the little pseudo dragon. Hmm? Um, I'm going to cast Speak with Animals. It's not technically an animal, but hold I'm on. I'm trying. I'm trying. Hold on. I'm oh. gonna cast it as a ritual. Oh, you cheaping out on me? I right, see how it is. Yeah. Got a long day ahead of us. Got a Jabberwocky to be ready for. Maybe. Mm. Do you cast oh, Blue, Tell me about. Tell me about breakfast. What is that? <laughs> oh, ooh. <laughs> Dirt right. intercedes at that point. Allow me, my little friend. Come with me. Have you heard of all right, all. breakfast meats? Dirt, tell him about toast. He's oh, not going to leave it. Lou will start making breakfast then. You do have elven provisions at this point still, too. So you do have fine, like, eggs and meats and all sorts of wonderful things. <laughs> this is going to be the best morning of my life. Uh, Mr. Unfortunately, you are unable to speak with the little dragon because it is not Worth a shot. Right. <laughs> I'm still going to talk to it like I can understand it. What do you want to say to it? Do you have a name? I think you should have a name. Uh, hmm. Well, an animal handling check. It's not an animal, but it's close enough, damn it. <laughs> they are very cat like. I rolled weird. Ah. <gasps> Wait, that's not quite it. Uh-huh. But it's it close. Is. It it's is? It. That's it. Is that if it? It's not, I smelt it wrong, but it's it. 
I thought it was. Oh, that didn't work. I don't even know what you're trying. What? Why can't I whisper you? I'm the the GM in case you forgot. <laughs> you can drag you can drag and drop into the tower to whisper to the GM. Is that what it is? Did I spell that's it? That's what it was. I thought it was the longer one. Yeah, that's it. No, it's the shorter one. Yeah, so then that's it. But I can't oh. Uh-huh. You well, know it's... what it is. It's nice to meet you, Safira. You say something, Miss Fit? Oh, yeah. Um, this is Safira. Did it sound happy about that? Mm -hmm. It kind of did like a little head bow. Oh, well, pleasure to meet you, Safira. Misfit, that name sounds awkwardly familiar to you. Roll a history check. You only know about this because it came up one time during your travels. I shall whisper you. <laughs> I, oh I have the ever so slightest connection. Nope. Not what you think it is. No? It is what you think it is. But not what I think I'm about to tell you. Uncle Crockham was visiting one time. Hmm. Uh, close enough. Huh? Wait a minute. That was Hold on a minute. <laughs> it's all connected. I've connected the dots. <laughs> Hold on, that there's it doesn't miss it say it out loud. No. Okay. That's, that's uh me, the player. I put it in the wrong shot. <laughs> hey, that is huh. Didn't All right, Bob so here's the plan, guys. Ask Sophia? Did he? Hmm? Yeah, that was the name of his ex. Ah. Uh -huh. I suppose it was. Hey, Safira, were you Bob's axe? Get a confused look. Either she doesn't know what you're referring to as far as her being an axe, or she doesn't know who Bob is. Hmm. Or both. Or both. Have you been asleep? No. Huh? It speaks. What? Oh. It's. <laughs> oh. He can talk. Well, what do you want for breakfast? Oh, it's been eating all of your food. Like, it hasn't even asked. It's just eating your, like, every oh. bit of food you guys have. It's picking off everything. All right. I think she hasn't eaten them just as long as you have, Dustin. Have I really been missing out on this? She just sits next to Dustin eating food. I mean, I don't know why you didn't want to eat before. Food I tastes didn't... good. Well, this weird thing that happens down... Here and I'm just gonna pat my stomach. What's it happening? Maybe it's and now it is, like... and it's weird, and it makes me feel really gross, and I don't like it. 
maybe the the moss on your armor was like helping you photosynthesize so you didn't need to eat but now how do you even know what that word is yeah, that's a... my mom's a druid okay <laughs> <laughs> my mommy told me do you know what that means <laughs> Or maybe he was cursed and Bob broke the curse. Well, that's nice of him. Yeah. Speaking of... Do we... hold out hope that he's around? Or do we go on with our business? That's something we kind of need to talk about. Maybe if he's around, we can ask him to break the curse on Marius, too. <laughs> you say to cast I think there's something else me? wrong with him. No, break. They think because you're thin and gaunt that you are also cursed. Ah. This is also, I think, morning in, now. In a way. Oh... Yeah, I'll have to talk to you post game about that. I don't think Bob is around. If he shows up, he'll he'll make his way. He, he was a strong dude. I'm gonna leave a he note. He knew how to him. handle himself. All right. Do you need Just help? In case he comes back. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That was true. Yeah. All right. We need to keep it under. We need to keep it to one page, okay? Okay. No rambling. No telling him about the cool bug you found this morning. It was cool, but like. But the, but the little dragon is amazing. Should I? I should mention that, right? <laughs> Well, he knows where to meet us. You know how? Do you know how? How happy would he be to be surprised by that, though? I think anyone would be happy to have a little dragon friend. Yeah, and that's something you want them to be in person for, right? Mm, I so maybe leave it off the paper. Well, if we yeah. maybe if we told him, he'd be envious that we have a little dragon friend that he doesn't. Did Bob ever seem envious to you? He only cared about his stuff. Miss Head, Bob knows where we're going. I'm gonna leave I'll a note. Write, just, just let him case. write his note. I'll help. What would you like your note to say? What are you putting in the note? I'm gonna write it out. Because we shouldn't yeah, leave yeah. a note behind saying exactly where we're going. We already had one really powerful note this session. Don't underestimate this. <laughs> I remember all, and I will bring it up. After Am I all, assisting you with this? Do I need to also proofread? Um, hold on, I'm typing it out. Carry on. Yeah. Okay. Uh, after that, I guess it's camp pack time. Yeah. You guys can pack up and head about day two. Mm -hmm. uh, right. Wait, who's driving? I can take care Is of it. Who has enough experience? Is it still raining? Uh, not at the moment. It's kind of foggy, but that's about it. Oh, that's a shame. Yes. As you drive. Hi! We haven't got much chance to talk. Oh, Jesus. Uh. Uh. Uh, I, I really tried to learn as much as I could under Mr. Pop, but, uh, I mean, we could be best friends, right? Eh? I, don't see, I don't see why not. I like your spirit. It's so really how do you drive one of these two hickeys anyways? And Lou will go, you know, explain how. Ooh, so it operates off the horses. I was wondering why we... 
<laughs> oh man, that guy is dumb. Oh, oh boy. Yes, yes, it uses horse power. You know, that makes a lot that's of sense. It, that's the message. So where's a little pseudo dragon friend right now with Dustin? Uh, huh? It okay. Dustin around. Okay. I will send you my revision. And we head out. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you guys want to accomplish during day two? Mm -hmm. Keep the cart moving. Are you gonna break uh, like you did the day prior? Mm -hmm. All right. So you proceed throughout the morning. Actually, a pretty uneventful day for the most part. Is there anything we should do during that travel period? Yeah. Serena will be up on top of the cart, uh, enjoying okay. the scenery. No, but I'm going to send you the revised note that Dustin helped me with. Sure. If no one has anything to do, you make your midday break without any issue. Uh... Eat lunch and move on, or anything you want to do? Yeah. The ride in the car always make you sore? Ow. So bumpy. I'm just complaining about having a body, I guess. Um... There is one thing I want to do, but I don't know when or how I want to... Actually, yeah, I'll do it during this lunch break. Sure. Um, I'll call... Uh, oh, gosh, I already forgot her name. Uh, Sephiri? S Sephiria? Sephira. What's her name? Sephira. Sephira. I'll call Sephira over to me and, like, hold out the blanket to her. The, the bear cloak. She just kind of sniffs at it and kind of recoils a little bit. Interesting. Hey, Misfit, do you want to do some flying during lunch? Yeah! Alright, I'll throw it on Misfit. Alright, as you throw it on the Misfit, Misfit turns into the Blue Owl. What do you do? Serena will establish a connection as he inevitably immediately soars off. Um, I peep at Safira and then she I... follows you as you fly. Flutter off. I go slow for her. Yeah, she follows you. Easily enough. I'll keep an eye out for any suspicious activity. No, she just. Uh, no. Marius, have you been reading a book in like the cart the whole time? For the most part, yeah. He just keeps to himself. Just, he, he still doesn't really know y'all, so he's being quiet and observant. Unless he sleeps. I will. I will extend a interest in what you are reading. And you can just talk at me about what it is. I have no idea what he Like, is. just like... <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Good it's question. just like... That's... Didn't Lady Penelope give you a, one of her mystery books to read? Because Dustin read one too. Did she? I forget if it was you. She gave another person a book to read. I don't remember. She she gave me a bigger book recently, like I last session. That. Uh, actually, but... it would be one of the books that I found in the bookstore that was vacant. Okay. You said there's a few like first uh, copy books. Oh. Yeah, he's going through just some random um books. Um, some of them you probably. 
it depends which one he's reading. You might not be able to understand what book it is written in the language, but I will show interest at like in a polite way, you know. Like when you're letting like your friend talk talk right. and then you're like just like, oh, okay, so then what does that mean? Kind of stuff. Hey, he if it's showing interest will uh explain what he's reading or anything it comes up very as you get him into that it kicks in that almost like talking to a professor or something very very studious and at a tune to whatever work he's reading mm. he's giving you like the detailed notes of like his note section is longer than the written section in the book so for like every page he's got like two pages of notes I get like thirty percent of it. I'm like I'm like doing enough to like be like have basic questions. And then wish you hadn't asked. Yes, absolutely. Um, Lou. Or who's got the note that Bob left behind? Um uh, I, I would. Um I need to roll an investigation check on that note. Out of pure dumb luck, as you put the thing away, because there's more written on that note than one side. <laughs> you know what's the other side say? We're idiots. Uh, it is not a letter. It no. is something else. I will whisper you now. Dude, did Nobla just put a note on your note? Yep. Yo, dog, Dude. heard you like notes. Look, put a note on your note so you can note what you know. Can I study it a little bit more? Yeah. Uh, they're pretty detailed out. Um, the actual design components of the first part are hypothetical based on something he's been working on. But the designs themselves all hold out. If you can find someone to make them, I will even tell you what it looks like. Mm -hmm. I'm going to grab a drink. I'll be right. <laughs> what? And it is that is what he left on the other side. <laughs> Lou does laugh, but not as much as I did. <laughs> And I'll put the note away. Too perfect. All right. So as we depart for lunch, we head off into the evening. We will pause there for tonight because that is a good spot. Okay. Bye, bye, Bob. Let that all digest in. There's a lot of things in there. There's a lot of lore dumps there. Yeah. What the heck? Yeah. Thanks for uh, that. Lore soak in for a little bit. Night, everybody. Good night. Good night.